So the last type of uh, tumors in ovarian and testicle is called sesquostroma tumor. Sesquot are the ovarian follicles. So these are the type of cell that supports the follicular maturation. And then the stroma cell is the connective tissue, so fibroma. So stroma cell tumor is a fibroma. The sesquot tumor the cell that are supporting the follicles. You see, there's a granuloma, granulosa and thicker cell that's supporting the follicular ovulation. So for the granulosa cell to produce androgen, it's under the influence of LH. LH will stimulate granulosa cell to produce androgen. From androgen, it will convert to estradiol under the influence of FSH. In thicker cell and it will do it will go undergo ovulation right um, so let's talk about number one fibroma first right fibroma you all you have to remember about fibroma is a benign it's a cancer of the connective tissue so fibroblast and the highest syndrome is called mag syndrome maggot syndrome which is fibroma producing Effusion in the belly, effusion in the lungs, and then fibroma. Fibroma, ascites, pleural effusion. And if the fibroma is too big, it can give you a pulling sensation in the groin area, so pain in the groin area, because sometimes the fibroma can grow up to the size of the orange. And in terms of pathology-wise, you see a fibroblast, a needle-shaped, with long nuclei, so you will see this type of structure. So if a patient presents with ascites, pleural effusion, and ovarian mass, then you choose a fibroma, okay? And then um, the next one, so in terms of sets called tumor, there is two types, sardolylated and granulosa cell. Sardolylated produce testosterone, and those testosterone can be converted into estrogen under the aromatase um, influence. Granulosa thicker only produce estradiol. I remember sartolylated produce Ranke crystal and granulosa cell produce corn egg cell body. So there's a mnemonic call your ex and grandparents. So call ex na gran is granulosa. So let's talk about granulosa thicker cell. They're a the tumor of the middle aged woman. So because of increase in estrogen, remember increase in estrogen in middle aged or postmenopausal women. If it's postmenopausal woman, too much estrogen will make you bleed. If it's premenopausal, you will have a menstrual irregularity like heavy menstruation, metromyalgia, breast tenderness. And if it's in young girl, you will have a uh, too much estrogen, so you will have a precocious puberty. This has a cornex cell body. Cornex cell body is basically a eosinophilic fluid lined by the granulosa cell. Don't confuse cornex cell with shuval, shilla duval body, which is in yolk sac, and these are the papillary structure. See, capillary yolk side tumor in a mucus space. Sartoli ladies is Ranky crystal. So you in the histo you will see Ranky crystal. Ranky crystal are eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion. So they will have both increase in testosterone and estrogen, right? So that's why gynecomastia in men and precocious puberty in boys. If it's in women, then you have viralization, hydrogen, amenorrhea, and in female. So precocious puberty in young girl is granulosa thicker. Precocious puberty in boys is satolytic. Now these are just um quick reminder of what. So in pregnant women, pregnant women can have thicker lutein cysts, right? So thicker lutein cysts are the one um, that you get when you have too much beta-ACG. 
If you have that, do not worry about it. After pregnancy, when eventually the beta ACG go down, then you'll be fine. They disappear. But if you have a tumor of a troboblast, then you have to worry. You have to get rid of the troboblast with DNC, and then you have to put the patient on OCP, and then you have to continuously monitor beta ACG so that it won't turn into the choriocarcinoma. Another case they can give you is a pregnant woman suddenly, all of suddenly, pregnant woman have increase in body hair, acne, and then the clitoris become clitomegaly. This is luteoma because of a lot of testosterone. So treatment is just observation after giving birth. Hopefully it will go away. So anytime you want to remove an ovary for a pregnant woman because she has, let's say, choriocarcinoma, you have to wait until the 10 week. Why? Because until the 10 week, the ovary is supplying progesterone to maintain the pregnancy. After the 10 week, the placenta will take over. So then you think the men don't have ovary, can they get cancer related to um can they have the same kind of cancer? Yes, they can. So in men, we don't talk about epithelial, gen cell, and sex god. So in men, we just differentiate into two categories. One is a germ cell tumor. The other is a non-germ cell tumor. So non-germ cell tumor is a little bit easier. So let's go there first. Non-germ cell means anything that are not germ cell, right? So it could be a sex scar tumor equivalent in women or epithelial tumor in women. So, but the most common uh, testicular cancer of the man is metastasis from another side. So let's say the man had the lymphoma. Metastasis or lymphoma to the testis is the most common testicular tumor in older men. And there's another non germ cell tumor is satolytic, right? So in these men, you have a gynecomastia in men, older men, and then precocious puberty in younger uh, men. So increase in testosterone and estrogen. So germ cell tumor, anything a woman has, a man can have an equivalent of that. Remember I said this germinoma, equivalent, this germinoma is a type of um, germ cell tumor, its equivalent is seminoma in men. In this germinoma, we have increase in AFP. In this germinoma, increase in beta ACG in women and LDH. But in men, we wouldn't have beta ACG, so you have an increase in ALP, placental ALP. It's painless homogeneous mass in older men, not in infant, remember? And then yolk set is always in infant. So boy less than three year old AFP, you can have teratoma, choriocarcinoma, and then the new thing in men is embryo embryonal carcinoma, which is a gran which can be granular type or papillary type. Embryoma carcinoma. The hormonal markers are, if it's mixed, then beta ACG and AFP. If it's pure, then beta ACG only. It presents a painful necrosis hemorrhagic mass. And then an, a quick way to get question right is if you know the marker right away. So seminoma is ALP, placenta ALP. Yosad is AFP, choreo beta ACG, embryoma mix is ACG and AFP, pure is beta ACG alone, satolylitis is estrogen and testosterone, pregnant luteoma is testosterone, and thika lutein is beta ACG. Female epithelial cancer, if it's malignant epithelial serous cystic adenoma, somoma body, mucinous, think about Pseudomyxoma peritoni, endometrial brana. Germ cell, there is teratoma, which can have beta ACG or AFP. 
Choreo Carcinoma Bida ECG, Yosad SAFP, and Shela Dua Body. This germinoma is beta ACG and LDH. Beta ACG and AFP is embryoma. Beta ACG and LDH is this germinoma. Sesquar tumor is granulosa thicker is estradiol. Remember, call Nexa. Call your ex and grandma. Sardolilidic is testosterone estrogen Raki crystal. Fibroma is the maggot syndrome. Remember, ascites, pleural effusion, and pulling sensation in the groin and then spindle like needle shape. So these are all the ovarian and testicular cancer.